going to this. We're going to use our trusty 393 nozzle as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up our voltage. Let's go L1 to L2. So right there, you are actually getting 209 volts at 60 hertz coming off of this unit. We could also see if we had any voltage coming off going from our ground. So that's why you can also tell your line to ground and know what it is. Now I don't, I think at 121 there, yeah. we can also go over here. We got 121. That's the breaker three phase tool. Yep. Yeah. So we got that all set up. Now that's just what this is designed for is that we know that that's your output. Okay. Now this, so I just killed it. Yep. So we can also validate what that would look like if you had anything, any residual. So really you don't. You got about a half a volt, but because of the accuracy spec, sure. could have on that. And that's, you go back up. So the way this is designed is that you could have a vented system or a non-vented, or a vented system or a non-vented system. Okay. And then as we move forward, you could even you could use a scope meter you can see the sine wave coming out on this as well. That actually makes a lot more sense with what your symbology is uh -huh. on it. Yeah, yeah, it totally does. Okay. So that's how that works. I like that. And I like the... So we've confirmed just through that process, starting with A, where we're sitting at, and then moving forward. Now you can do a GFCI test, or you can do a pretest where you hold your finger over this. It didn't trip anything. This is like a pre-grounding setup. Okay. Where we confirm that, hey, whoever wired this did a great job. They yep. actually we did. Actually have a ground. We actually have a ground. <laughs> and then you can check your GFCI if it tripped it out. Okay. Which it doesn't think. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yep. So that's really how this is designed. So it's a quick oh. interface to be able to go through and check the system. And then how you're working through is that here would be a dead point. We'd be looking at the system. B would then be going through saying, hey, we're about ready to send the signal through. Okay. That was a, a curiosity as well, is the A, B staging on yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. And then the final test would okay. confirm that you actually get the voltage coming out of this. Now, uh, just, uh, just for my edification, the CP error E, uh, that nomenclature is familiar. What do we think there? That's a test. So now we can just quickly turn it oh, on. Oh, it's just a it's just a quick check. Awesome. Okay, yeah. So even though it's in this mode. So you can actually press hold and actually use it in a, yeah. a live status, yeah. or you can so, do it just for you know, That's right. That's I like right. that. I really like that. So this is really just a confirmation tool that's going to take place in case you always have a communication issue going back from the car, what the car's doing. What the charging station should be doing sure this now validates that that tool and having this as an attachment to interface especially with a, a, a tool like that that we're going to have handy takes a lot of the guesswork out of the final use of yeah, it does. Having... for sure that's awesome i like that <laughs> <laughs> if you want you can yeah. play with it and i'll hold it